Hey, welcome to the ClickUp AI tutorial. Today, I'm gonna go dive deep into all of the ClickUp AI features. So if you don't know, ClickUp is a project manager, task manager, and it can organize your entire life. Now with AI, this video is made in partnership with ClickUp because it allows me to go step by step through each and every single AI feature for the first time so I can share exactly how this feels like, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. So you can decide by the end of this video if it is the right fit for you. So let's dive into ClickUp AI. I'm now on clickup.com slash AI and try it for free. Here you can see introducing ClickUp Brain. We're gonna go through all of them and this is what we're greeted with. It seems like there is some sort of dashboard. You have home inbox docs dashboards. And on the right side, you have ask AI to find or create anything. And we have this enhanced ClickUp AI's knowledge with docs where I can actually create a doc. And I'm gonna do that in a minute. And they also have these standard questions here. For example, what tasks am I working on? So I bet we can add some tasks here and it can answer actually that. What should I work on next? What tasks are popular? Ideas for writing, choose a department. So you can go here, marketing product. We're gonna start with creating a doc. As you can see, this looks a lot like Trello, a lot like Notion to me. So let's make a little about us page so they maybe can get some context. Okay, first saying where I'm from, my name and everything. Okay, I added that AI Andy is an AI software reviewer helping people get work done faster with AI. Let's actually check if it knows and we ask it. So we have this AI click up in the top and now we can ask to write. So who is AI? AI Andy refers to myself, an AI software reviewer, 29 year old YouTuber from Norway. Okay, it nailed that. I kind of want to make more documents so we can chat more with it. I have this big document full of YouTube videos. Again, I'm gonna click on docs. I'm gonna create a new doc. Just paste a bunch of this here. There's a bunch of information from YouTube videos. I'm just gonna name it content Feb. And then I'm gonna ask it what content do I have to film in February? Okay, I'm gonna ask it right now. And here are the real time results. So there's nothing in your workspace. And that's what I kind of thought. I think it will take the time frame format in my workspace, but let's actually ask it from the doc itself. I'm gonna write, I mean in the doc content feb, and now it really knows exactly what to do. And then it found it. So very easy to add to the knowledge base here as it will be smarter the longer you go, but I want to test it specifically for to-do list or task management. So let's click on the home and you can see we have recent, agenda, this is more of a calendar. On the left, my work, assigned to me, personal list, AI stand up, I really wanna see this one, but I think we have to add some tasks first. So I'm just gonna click on add task to my work. So let me just write some basics. So just like that, we got seven tasks and now I wanna select a due date for these to be completed. So this film click up video is what I'm doing right now. So I want to finish that today. Then film the click up int. That's what I'm doing directly after this. So I also want that today. These other ones are also things that I have to complete today. And then we get to the point where I actually am gonna do these tomorrow or the next couple of weeks. So AI intro animation, that's gonna happen next week. So I'm just gonna click on the next week button. Rizbot as well, this one is probably gonna take two weeks to be able to even start. So I'm gonna click on two weeks. Then put int into runway. We actually are almost finished with that one. So I'm gonna put it on Sunday or actually extend it more to Wednesday. And now we have the due dates of these tasks. Now the homepage looks like this. I really like how the my work section now is turning out because it shows exactly what I have to do today. And then I could click on the next button to see the tasks that are coming up. This assigned to me doesn't make sense to me right now because I don't have a team that I'm managing through ClickUp, but I bet it would be very valuable. However, it's very customizable. So we're just gonna remove this card so it looks a little bit cleaner and then we're actually gonna go into the next AI feature, which is the AI standup. So it says use 
ClickUp AI to create a recurring summary of recent activity. Maybe we didn't do any activity. Let's see what happens when we click it. Okay, it says, I focused on preparing int for deployment, setting a due date for the task, put int into runway. So basically that's all it has for what we did. This feature is actually pretty impressive. So let's say we actually managed to finish all of today's tasks. What happens then? There we go. Let's go up to the stand up again and click on generate. Here we go. Pub GPT store, film click up in, click up video, dumb GPT store and put int into runway was set. This is what actually will help your business and your team reflect on what happened yesterday, what can we do better and have these daily standups if this is part of your workflow. This ClickUp feature makes that very easy. Next, I wanna see how good is the AI writer. So a video that I'm gonna film is called Film ChatGPT versus Gemini. Now, if I click on that, it will open in the card view or whatever they call it. And it has a write with AI feature. So let's see what happens when we click that. It opens a write anything with the help of AI and we can have the talking points. I'm gonna write brainstorms of talking points for the video about ChatGPT uh, versus Gemini Ultra. I'm gonna put the tone of voice to, you have straightforward, inspirational, optimistic. I would love for it to be very kind of scientific. So let's do straightforward. Maybe that is the correct one. In creativity, this tells you how expressive the language is of the output. Lower options create more predictable suggestions while higher options will suggest more imaginative ideas. So we want it to be as close to facts as possible. So I think low is best for this one. And then let's generate action overview, chat GPT, overview of Gemini Ultra, performance comparison, use case and applications, limitations and challenges, future developments, conclusions. Hey, this is actually a pretty good right off the bat comparison bullet points. And I actually really like that it did it all in bullet point fashion. This is really interesting. Can I ask it to be more specific into different things to test? I'm gonna say, can you go deeper into the specifics of what to test with examples? Like post again, going to go understanding context and continuity, text generation quality. So this is actually a lot deeper. Handling ambiguity and corrections. This is very, very good. So I will just click on insert. And now this would help us in our video making process. I tried finding out which AI it is. So they're actually using ChatGPT API. So that is obviously the best right now. You can see that the AI capabilities of this software is a lot higher than some of its competitors. So let's check out the subtask generation. So we're back to the film chat GPT versus Gemini. And I'm going to go to the subtasks. And here you can actually click on this suggest subtasks. Now I'm not sure if it actually understands what it's saying in this script. We didn't give it that much information, but here you can see test context maintenance in conversation, assess text generation quality, analyze handling of ambiguity and corrections. So yeah, it is actually setting up these subtasks. Well, it did only create five of them though, and there are a lot more. So let's see if I can create even more subtasks. Let's click it one more time. Yep, it just keeps going down the entire document, going into the different bullet points, which yeah, it's doing what it's supposed to do. But let me try a little better example. I'll make a new task. I'm going to name it set up email campaign. I'm not going to give it any information. I'm just going to go directly into suggest subtasks. And it did actually recommend design email templates, build email list, schedule. This is literally what you would do. Um, let me try to write myself a little bit and then see what happens. So these are actually the steps that I'm gonna take. Let's see if it suggested some subtasks for me. Yep, it just copy and pasted exactly what I wrote, but hey, that's what it's supposed to do. Let's see if we can do even more subtasks. Nope, we can't because there are no more tasks left on the document. So now in the homepage, it actually looks like this and you have these other subtasks under it and you can add a due date to these ones as well. But what other AI features do they have? You can also summarize tasks. Now, 
this might be the most important feature because a survey said that most people use ChatGPT for summarization more than anything. So let me just ask, hey, can you summarize what I need to do this week? And just like that, it's just making a perfect little list for me. And even the things that I don't have a due date, it's actually putting there. And here is the prioritization of them. And you remember the video we made about uh, Gemini versus ChatGPT? What if we can just summarize all the bullet points? So I'm gonna ask it exactly that. Certainly, the document titled, oops, I gave it a document. I think I should tell it that it was a task. Oops, I meant the task called and there it found it here you have some bullet points and i'm gonna ask it to do a summarization and here we have the summarization the next ai feature is that they have natural language automation so if you click on automation you can add an automation here so when this happens then this happens you've probably seen this before right so i can automate if a task is created assign it to me. And if I click build here, you will see that it'll actually start building out this automation, task or subtask created, created by 10 sources selected, and then change assigned to me. I could also add more, like for example, if, if due date is assigned, move to in progress. As you can see, due date changes, we can move to list, or we can do all of these other things. Change tag, status, let's change it to in progress. And just like that, you created your automation. One of my favorite automations was every time I published a YouTube video, the number would get one higher and I just got addicted to getting the numbers go higher. You can do this with this automation. The next AI feature are the AI generated templates. So you can actually start by going to the ClickUp AI chat in the right side, and you can start with ideas for writing popular, or you have all of these different departments that you actually get information from the outside world to create this template. So let's search for popular and then we can click on generate template. And here we can make a template, for example, filming and publishing a video, default tone of voice, creativity, let's do medium this time and generate. Just like that, it starts doing the video concept, target audience, script outline, and things like this. And now you could copy and paste this and use it as a template every time you create a new YouTube video that you want to add this. It's even adding additional resources like production checklist and things like this. I believe it's better if you are more specific because templates are really powerful if you use them correctly. But you could copy this right here, create a new item here, click on templates, say AI template. I can add the description where I just paste everything I just copied. And now you can click on templates and save as template. And just like that, you can add this every time you create a new doc or a task. Template name, film video, just like that, you can save the template. Now you might be wondering, what's the price? So I'm now on the pricing page of ClickUp and you see that they have a free plan, a $7 plan and a $12 plan. If you go for a monthly, it's a little bit more expensive. And if you're thinking, oh, I want this because of the AI features, you actually need to get onto the unlimited paid plan to get access to these AI features. And you see that in the business plan, you get some of these advanced features as well as everything in free and unlimited. Now, the real question is, did you like what I showed you in this video? And do you see yourself actually using this as your task manager, actually using the AI features to grow the knowledge base and get smarter as you work with it. Because if you said that, hey, yeah, that's definitely worth it to me, then I think it's a good buy. This might be the best AI I've tested inside of these project managers. The AI that's inside is ChatGPT, which is the best that you can get currently. So if you're seeing yourself using ClickUp and its AI tools, click link in the description down below and go to their website. I'm pretty impressed by how they have this contextual AI that kind of knows everything that's going on. And I had this moment when I was working with it that it was like, oh, it knows too much about me, which I've had kind of before. And then I feel like freeing feeling to have inside of a software like this. So thanks so much for watching. Click link in the description down below. Also, if you want to check out more videos for me, 
click on this video now. I'll see you in the next one.